Hey guys, Ash here from cuspower.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to flash the NOS M7 ROM for the HTC Butterfly. The NOS ROM is based on uh, Sense 5 and Android 4.1.2 that is uh, the HTC One's software. So this video tutorial is applicable for both the X, X920D and X920E variants of the HTC Butterfly. The prerequisite here is that your butterfly needs to be rooted and have a custom recovery that's clockwork mod or TWRP installed. If you haven't rooted your butterfly already, go ahead, hit the link in the description and that will take you to my video tutorial on how to root the HTC butterfly. So uh, guys, the first thing you need to do is uh, make sure that you have HTC Sync installed. If you haven't done that, you can, uh, you can get HTC Sync from link 1 in the download section of the description. So link 2 will uh, get you a few hundred KB uh, fastboot.zip file. So get fastboot.zip and extract it to C drive so that you get, I mean, so that the path is C drive fastboot. Okay, you will have three, four, uh, three files inside. So leave that as it is. And link 3 will take you to this thread on XDA developers forums. So this is the thread for the NOS ROM. So, so what you do is just scroll down and uh, if you own an X920D, download this. If you own an X920E, download both. All right. So we, we are using an X920D HTC Butterfly for this video. All right. So I've downloaded this and uh, that will be in the form of a zip file. So that's the uh, that's the file you get. Uh, what you need to do here once you download this file is just open it, and you will have a boot.img inside. All right. So just copy it, just drag it, and paste it in the fastboot folder. So link to you will download the fastboot.zip, extract it to C drive slash fastboot, and link three you're gonna go to the XDA developers forums. Over there, you're going to download the ROM, the zip file, and uh, open the zip file and extract the boot.img onto the fastboot folder. So once you've done this, go ahead, connect your HTC Butterfly to the PC using a micro USB cable. All right. And now just uh, copy and paste the entire ROM onto the internal or external memory of your HTC Butterfly. So again, if you're using an X920E, you will be copying and pasting both the ROM file as well as the patch that you downloaded from the thread. So for the X920E users, you are go you're going to be copying this ROM and the patch as well. All right, guys, the file has been transferred over now. So what we do is I just hold the down volume and power buttons on your phone. Just keep holding it. You might take a screenshot, but just keep holding it. Alright, now we are in the bootloader mode. So use the volume keys to navigate and select recovery and hit the power button. So now this will boot you to uh, a custom recovery, either clockwork mode recovery or uh, TWRP like I do. So uh, it, guys, the clockwork mode recovery might look a little different from TWRP recovery, but uh, don't worry, it's essentially the same. So you're going to have similar options. So here I'm going to choose, uh, first I'm going to choose wipe and I'm going to do a factory, uh, factory reset. All right, so make sure that you back up anything before you do this. So I'm doing a factory reset, swipe to wipe. And if you're using clockwork mode, you're going you're gonna to be selecting wipe data factory reset right from the initial menu. So going back, now wipe cache. Now back wipe dalvik cache 
in clockwork mode you can find Dalek, the Dalek cache option under advanced so now going back going into install use internal storage because that's where we have it and now select the NOS file and now swipe, uh, swipe to confirm flash again in clockwork mode uh, you're going to select choose the from SD card install the from SD card choose the from SD card and again select the same file all right guys we're done here so I'm going to hit reboot system but don't let the phone reboot just hold the down volume and power keys at the same time again just keep holding it so guys if you own a x920e instead once you're done flashing the first file, you're going to flash the second file the same way, the exact same way we flashed the, uh, the first zip file, you're going to flash the patch file as well. And once you've done that, you're going to continue with the video the same way, just hold power volume and, uh, I mean power and down volume and get to the same place. Alright, so now uh, select fast boot and uh, you can see fast boot USB showing up over here, the micro USB cable is still connected. We just leave the phone as it is. So now we go to the fast boot folder. Uh, hit shift. Right click anywhere. And select open command window here. Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit more. Alright, now type in fast boot flash boot boot dot img and hit enter all right it's done so exit and now on your butterfly just scroll down and select reboot and hit the power button so now just wait for it to reboot since this is the first boot it's going to be a little longer than your normal boot times so don't worry about it uh, i'll be back with you guys once the phone is booted back up Alright guys, we are up and uh, keep in mind it took me a good 5 minutes for this phone to boot. Okay, so don't don't get worried. It, uh, it seems as if it's stuck on the HTC One logo. But no, give it about 5 minutes and it will boot in. So, just running through setup here. So there you go, that's Sense 5. So there you see it guys, Android 4.1.2, HTC Sense 5.0. So there you have the feed. So that's pretty much it guys for the installation of uh, the NOS ROM with HTC Sense 5 and Android 4.1.2 on the HTC Butterfly. So if you guys have any questions or if you guys run into any issues, you can hit us up at cursforward.com slash forums. And if there's any video tutorial that you'd like like to see made, uh, if there is any video uh, that you want to watch, if you have any video requests for me, that, that is, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, guys, because every time you hit the like button, it increases the odds of this video getting uh, being suggested by YouTube. So help me out there, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will be coming out with more Android videos. So that's it for now. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and uh, this is Ashia from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.